Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the jersey review for the 22-23 La Liga season. First a little bit about the background. I'm very proud that I have of the 20 teams in La Liga this season, I have actually 14 already in my collection and you see all of them back there. Uh, there is one 15th team and unfortunately that one got relegated. So uh, you will see me putting 14 jerseys back up there and I usually wear then an alternate or you know a jersey from a team that I have uh, two uh, or more jerseys from, uh, which are exactly five, and you will see them coming up. I'm wearing the Centenary jersey, away jersey for Real Madrid, which complements nicely the Centenary home jersey up there. But before we get into the review, um, quickly, how do I uh, get the pictures in this video? From where do I have them? And of course, how did I decide to uh, group the um, teams within the video? Well, the pictures, I usually go to footy headlines, but seemingly they have some trouble with displaying Puma shorts. So I said, okay, there needs to be a better source. And of course there is. It's footballkitarchive.com, a web page uh, linked below that I strongly can recommend. And what the nice feature there is if you have an account, not only can you add jerseys yourself, but you also can kind of have an online archive of your own collection, which I really, really like, plus a wish list. So I uh, have to go through, through it, but it's a, it's a page where you can also spend uh, countless hours on. No, how did I now choose the teams within the video? So first of all, uh, every team that I choose, it's in alphabetical order and it's not a strict alphabetical, it's basically how I do call the teams and I will mention that uh, a little bit later how I do it in uh, every particular video. But what I do is I take last season standings and then I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 3, 2, 1 and so on and so forth. Every team with number 1 goes in the first video, everyone with number 2 in the second, third, third and fourth video and so on. And with this mechanism, we have in this video Sevilla, Betis, we have Rayo, we have Elche, and we have Girona. So very interesting mix. We have the Seville Derby because if we order alphabetically, we have a Seville Derby with the teams that are first, Betis, and last Sevilla, and then a bunch of smaller clubs with interesting shirts in between. And we'll start in Seville with Betis, where Hummel is taking over and creating one of the nicest shirts this season. Now, I have to say, if this was just plain green stripes, I would like it even better, but the triangles make some sort of sense because it uh, replicates the crest from up there. It's a really, really well-crafted jersey. Hummel usually do an outstanding job and that's no difference. Uh, also, again, I need to point out the sponsor it is just an outline, it's not a box, makes it look pretty. I love the black collar, adds something to the difference. It's an excellent jersey, one that I definitely would like to have. And therefore, we'll start off with a high grade again with a nine. The away jersey, you know, I have told you, green and blue are underused. And so I'm very happy that we have to bet this crest on a blue jersey with a little bit, you know, um, <sighs> has a little bit of a rugby short look, but we have the green inside collar. I don't dislike it. It's not uh, my absolute favorite, favorite, but I think it's a really strong look. I even like the collar quite, quite some. And the sponsor fits also nicely. I wish the Barcelona would have put the, sponsor, the Spotify sponsor in this way. I think it would look better. I'm gonna go eight here. And I think the sleeper among all of these, and I've heard, uh, I have, have seen it put on a list of ugly jerseys. I really like it. There's a world map on there. And like other teams this season that make a world map, uh, it's actually done quite nicely on an orange. And then you have the map on top. And of course, this goes back in you know, is where um, all the kings were. And uh, I think uh, Columbus was sent from there. So it harks back to that. I also think that orange and green is a really nice com 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 combination. And now, uh, I also do like that the logos here are in white, although I think that a green Betis crest would have looked uh, nice as well. I think if you make the Hummel logo and the Betis crest, Hummel logo green, Betis crest, full color, it would look even better. A really nice one. I mean, I have already a pretty nice Betis alternate jersey, so uh, this might not uh, go high up the list. More the home, jer uh, the home jersey, I gotta say. It's a really nice shirt, I have to, I have to say. I also like this quite some Betis really looking class this season. Hummel, really 
ever disappoint. Uh, let's go to Nike and more templates since we have a smaller team and we have LJ. And honestly, it's not so bad this one uh, for the simple reason that yes, it's a Nike template with this kind of odd color. And again, lots of gold. We see lots of gold being applied this uh, year in La Liga. But uh, the traditional green stripe in kind of this brush stroke effect uh, gives it a slight extra. I, I, I gotta say, uh, I really don't dislike this one. Uh, looks much better than it probably could uh, should uh, in a way. I elevate this up to a seven stars. The only thing I never understand with Elche from the crest, I would not get that this club is white with a green chest strap. But hey, meanwhile, I know I didn't know just uh, a few years ago. I uh, love the away jersey. This is the template uh, that I like. Yes, sponsor ugly, but uh, again, very shiny golden crest. <laughs> this seems to be a fad that the smaller Spanish teams are starting with it, where I were the lead. Uh, and Adidas, now here we have, have it with Nike. Golden green looks really good. Love this one. And despite it being um, a <laughs> template, Gonna go eight here. I really think this is a very nice color combination. If you have now a much simpler sponsor, you we could talk even higher. And then the third jersey tries to do the same thing but with black and white and doesn't work as well. It doesn't work as well. If you do it black and green, I think you are onto something here. But black and white, now this looks literally just a disjointed jer uh, jersey the previous one was also green with a golden LG crest but it looked it belonged more here it is black and white and because the white also is reflecting all the other sponsor logos it doesn't quite fit as much for that reason despite the wonderful golden crest we got uh, put it down uh, to a mere five star jersey Moving on to the newly promoted team Girona through the playoffs they came and Puma did Puma things. Can we please decide on which direction we want to have the stripes going? Just an idea. Other than that, you know, we have Atleti Club, we have, Atleti, uh, we have Atletico Madrid, uh, the red and white stripes with black. Of course, I think they come from Southampton. Uh, yes, the sponsor even looks nice, but uh, you know, we have a chest band. We have straps going this way and this way and this way and this way. Uh, and overall, if you look in, 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 in the crest, uh, the actual straps of Girona are kind of the wavy line. So there should be something diagonal VHs in, in, in the crest, which they had. This is basically not knowing what what, what am I do. It's an, uh, how to say, it's an art, it's a pop art jersey. Let's put it that, that, that way, but it's not one that I would like. If you decide in one direction, don't have a chest band, or if you have maybe hoops and then have the chest band, that could actually look like some, something, but this one here is messy. This one is messy. The only thing that's good is that the color com combinations work actually really well together. Uh, also want to note that the crests look different now since they're part of the city group. Suddenly we have a kind of a circular thingy going on. I just want to point this out as well. Because the colors fit kind of well together, I'm going to go too. I'm thinking this will pop up on a Puma sale relatively soon and then maybe someone might get it. Um, not sure if this someone is here in this room. The Avengers, I mean, this it's not great, but it looks much better. I mean, it's a Catalan, it's from Catalonia, so uh, it's great. Maybe too much yellow up top, uh, you know, and then um, the white with the yellow, that is always, that doesn't quite fit, but much better. Much better. Not great, but much better. And again, sponsor outlined and not just a bar. Although, if you go to the straps just <laughs> up until the sponsor, I might have looked, made the shirt look more cohesive, less cohesive. I don't know. Again, I do like it's the Catalan flag. That's a plus. Um, not sure why the straps had to stop uh, kind of just below the crest. I don't know because for a sponsor, you don't do it. Uh, so, yeah. Colors okay, not more than five. Sorry. And the third jersey doesn't know what, what it is. Um, that has nothing to do with Girona, but it's nice colors. But those two grayish, bluish, steelish, kind of wintery colors. Also, not to my liking. I'm sorry, Girona. I really would love to like you, but um, no, nah, it's a four. It's a four. Uh, cannot do more there. Okay. We are at probably 
another favorite set of mine, which is Rayo Vallecano. You know that I loved last season's jerseys. I actually think these are better. And yes, asymmetric color. But look at how the flesh is now outlined in black. I actually think this makes it more defined. Crazy as, as it is. And I still um, am a little bit chuffed that I didn't get last season's jersey. Because it was high up on my wish list. So yeah, let's see after the World Cup and, and so on. If there's something, I really would love to have this one. Um, I'm going to go straight out. Even despite the asymmetric color. But it makes sense. I love the sleeve because with the Umbro Diamonds, the sponsor is nice. Uh, the flesh looks really great from the crest. It's an absolute 10 star. Should I go 10 or should I go 9? Athletic Club? Nah, let's go 10. It's the best jersey in the league. Yes, I said it. It's the best jersey in the league. And the away jersey is almost right up there. Just re inverting the colors and you know making it red. I also like this one quite some. Is it as good as the home jersey? Maybe not. It's quite uh, up there. I don't want to go for an hour, another 10 here, so I'm going to go 9, but I really do like it. I mean, these are my favorite colors. The third jersey, um, you lose me with the pink sponsor. I don't know, the yellow, okay, all right, but the pink sponsor is a little bit, either decide on pink or decide on yellow. Uh, I think the sponsor here should go white, but I know why it doesn't, because white and yellow does not go. So, But think a little bit more what you want to do. If you just go with a white flash or a red flash uh, or something like that, um, you know, something missing there. And so we're going to go with eight here, which leaves us with the last team, Sevilla. Castori. Now, this shirt, if you look up close, there is a whole lot to like about it. And I think up close, this shirt looks a whole lot better than it does in game. The pattern up there, it could be straight from all the architecture in Seville. Really, really cool. The Castori logo, also absolute class. The Seville logo, absolute class. The color, maybe make it complete. However, drags this jersey down considerably. Are the completely Ace and Nine colored sponsored. I mean, this looks more like a racing red. The, the Giro, at least make those two lines in red. And the Valvoline, can we have it also in red then, or in black? It would look a whole lot, lot better. And the other thing that I think doesn't do the jersey real justice is are those little red lines here that kind of delineate the sleeves from the sponsor, which uh, also don't look good. This pattern is so great on there. I mean, I can, I, I absolutely love it. And I think without a sponsor, this shirt, will, uh, without the two, two sponsors, I would elevate this jersey easily to a nine star, but this sponsor drag it so much down and this red line that it looks almost like an average shirt and it doesn't deserve it. I mean, when I saw this the first time, I was thinking, what is that? That's a four star. Then you look up close and say, whoa, this is actually really cool. And so I really don't know where, where to go with this one. But I, but to be honest, I, there are more things that I dislike than I do like because it's such a missed opportunity that I'm going to go six here and it hurts because this is one of the, the best patterns and it's so subtle in there. It makes it, it's absolutely gorgeous to look at. But it's absolutely a chance missed uh, because of sponsors really messing it up and it is so severe in many ways because Sevilla is a team that should do much better with everything that they have and they're again going more down than up. The red away jersey though all the things that I disliked about the home jersey are gone because suddenly the sponsors are in one color. Maybe the Sevilla crest could be full color. I think that would look better. On, 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 honestly, but I like the you know the gradient in there. It looks interesting. I, they played with that at Real Madrid. It looked really, 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 really nice. Really, I really like this one. Um, I'm gonna go and give this an eight star. Uh, and then the third jersey. Yeah, we have a full pink one here with black and pink. Um, again, the sponsor, <clears throat> and they do the same thing for for Gladbach. Can we just match this patch of color with the rest of the jersey? Other than that, again, the pattern, mwah, brilliant, fits perfectly, is a perfect representation of the, of, of, of the city. You could probably even pull it all over the jersey. I, I don't even mind the, the black and the pink. I think it, it accents its other really, really well. But the sponsor just ruins this jersey. 
and it downgrades it when it really shouldn't. But this is one case where uh, a really good base is completely destroyed by whatever the sponsor decided to do. And that's a shame. That's a real shame. And on this sad note, I'm going to end, unfortunately, my video series. I'm also going to give 56 because it's such a split, split view. There we have it. All the Liga jerseys, at least the ones that I could find uh, mid-October, are reviewed. Please let me know which jerseys in this video you liked and which ones you disliked. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with all that, have a wonderful day. Bye!